This is Renee's video posted December 27th, 2017. Of course, it was from Christmas morning showing the mountain of Christmas gifts her son got. Uh, the kind-hearted generosity of her viewers who believed that she was on death's doorstep. So let's watch this. This is what happened in our house after Christmas. And uh, look, you can see he's playing with all of it. Uh, the space kit, you guys got him. Uh, he's got all that. Uh, this is a really cool toy. I want you to notice as you listen to this that she had said that she was in back in her wheelchair, right? Uh, did you notice the thumbnail on her video? Uh, it shows her wheelchair. See, right there? There's her wheelchair. It's Obviously, she is up walking around on her hardwood floor. Notice, I mean, you can hear her footsteps. Clip, clop, clip, clop. She's up walking. She's not back in her chair like she said. Uh, uh, perplexus, science toy. Uh, look, earth and space, coloring books. Um, this is a cool thing for his wall. Uh, more space stuff here. Uh, he even got a 3D uh, insides of a shark. Uh, another solar system. Books on the space and, and, and uh, oceans. Uh, tons of art supplies. Acrylic paints and stuff. More uh, space things. Now he's working on a space puzzle and putting together. You see his little ADD. He's got everything going on. There's another solar system he's painting. There's one he's putting together to hang on his wall. There's a poster he's put together. And this is the, it's a fish that needs their things washed. Believe me, cold fish are dirty, but they're three years old. And hey, the Millennium Falcon, the Star Wars uh, Lego kit, which is massive. It, it, it's a huge kit given to us uh, uh, by a couple of viewers. You know who you are, M. Thank you so much. I just wanted to let you know he hadn't, he, he, he can't figure out what to play with first. He is just absolutely gone cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs. He just loves everything you guys gave him. And, uh, you know, the house is messy because of it, but he's even sleeping with his. Listen to her walk around. And his solar system blanket right down here. Uh, he's got, now this is the first. He's got a brand new, his pop-pop bought him a... You hear her footsteps? She's not in that chair, folks. Pro. But he hasn't even played with it yet. I ordered him a case, uh, like a leather case, so it doesn't break. Because it's literally like a thin piece of glass. The whole thing There's is... There's that chair. It's crazy. But uh, <laughs> he's not going to be playing with that till then. He's not allowed to take my laptop off the thing. But... Is it... Which laptop is it, Renee? Is that your second or your third that you got out of fans? Nobody needs a new laptop every six months. She keeps getting brand new laptops out of her fans. She won't take anybody's used one. Uh, she wants, you know, she wants a new one. And then six months later, oh, it, it wouldn't charge. The ministry will be down for a while. Uh, last time, people weren't anteing up. See that chair? She's using it uh, to store, to hang things on. But anyway, um, people weren't anteing up. They kept offering her old laptops. So she waited till night. Then she put a red light on herself. She goes, I know it isn't pleasant to look at me, but as long as you can hear me, that's what's important. So sure enough, someone sent her a laptop. Some, something he had on layaway, by the way. He couldn't afford it himself. It was it was pretty bad. Uh, people that realize it's pagan roots, but still say, hey, we know it's not Jesus' real birthday, but we're just going to choose. Gee, Renee, why aren't you in your chair? That our Savior was born. Mm -hmm. And be joyful. And they always use that Jeremiah, I think it's Jeremiah 10. They see he's talking about Christmas trees. That verse is about people cutting down those trees, carving idols out of them, and then covering them in gold and silver with which to worship the thing. Oh, she can't stop going off on a rant, can she? My, uh, cut my tree into the form of an animal or a calf or, calf or a person or an angel or Jesus even. And then dipped it in go By the way, uh, this house that she lives in, she's not paying rent, people. She's not paying mortgage. This is a house her grandfather bought. She has taken money from people who themselves are struggling to pay rent and mortgage and utilities so she's not paying anything and then she did a video in which she whined that her heating bill is six hundred dollars a month okay, each there's that other chair grace what a concept that might be <laughs> that we can show each other grace 
and be in joy. And if something you do is a stumbling block for another because they don't believe, then let's just respect that, okay? But most of the people with the Hebrew Roots Movement, they're not Hebrews themselves. They never were from Israel, and they were never under the law. They just get puffed up in pride. See how much more I know about Scripture than you do? And that's all it's really about. Let them have their little thing, but just don't get guilt and all of that. Just I, You know, I fell into that error years ago because I was so zealous for God. Just like the Bible says, you know, they have a zeal for God, but not according to knowledge. So let's just rest in the finished work of Christ and be happy and focus on that thing right there. Moreover, brethren, I declare on you the gospel. There it is. That's what we focus on. Moreover, brethren, I... And you know what, Renee? Jesus said, my house will be called a house of prayer. You have made it a den of thieves. I declare unto you the gospel, which I preached unto you, which also you have received, and wherein ye stand, by which also ye are saved, if ye keep in memory what I've preached unto you, unless you believed in vain. And again, he says, but you didn't believe in vain, because he did rise from the dead. That was about people denying his bodily, physical resurrection. But here's the gospel. For I delivered unto you, first of all, that which I had also received. Gee, he told King Agrippa that in Acts 26, 20, that men should repent and turn to God and prove their repentance by their deeds. But now Renee Rollins says, that's work salvation. Can you tell that Christ died for our sins according to scriptures, and that he was buried, and that he rose again the third day according to the scriptures. First Corinthians 15, 1 through 4. Now what does he say there? He says, um, this is the gospel, more of a brethren, I declare to you the gospel which I preached unto you, which also you received, and wherein you stand, by which also ye are saved. Uh, a lot of people say I preach a partial gospel or a false gospel. No. It says of an angel from heaven, or a man, or even an apostle, preach any other gospel other than that one you just got. Let him be accursed. No human merit at all. For by grace you are saved through faith, and that not of yourselves is the gift of God, not of works, lest any man should boast. The law master was a schoolmaster to point us the law was a schoolmaster to point us unto Christ, it was to stop our mouths, make us guilty for God. Uh, um, it also was to stir up sins for it says, For the law is the knowledge of sin, not grace. Okay? So uh, enjoy the holidays if you don't uh, uh, recognize the holiday. Enjoy not recognizing it. But for crying out loud, let's give each other some grace. And I thank all of you for being so thoughtful and loving and giving. And we should all be doing that constantly. God bless you all. Bye-bye. And send me money. I need money. So let's look to uh, Galatians. Um, and what Paul wrote, uh, now the deeds, I, this is an answer to, uh, uh, question go away, I... go away, Renee Roland, uh, please go away. Um, okay. So Galatians five, um, but I say walk by the spirit and you will not carry out the desire of the flesh. Um, but if you see, she keeps saying we're not under the law, but that's because we're led by the spirit. If you are led by the Spirit, you are not under the law. Now, the deeds of the flesh are evident, which are immorality, impurity, sensuality, idolatry, sorcery, enmity, strife, jealousy, outbursts of anger, disputes, dissensions, factions, envying, drunkenness, carousing, and things like this, of which I forewarn you, just as I forewarned you, that those who practice such things will not inherit the kingdom of God. Write that on the tablet of your heart, people, that those who practice such things. Now, what she likes to do, the demon in Renee Roland likes to, she'll go through the Old Testament. She'll say, look, look, uh, David committed adultery. David murdered. This this saint did this. This saint did that. Say it's okay with God because these people were saved. She, she completely eliminates the fact that these people repented. Psalm 51, my God, my God, which is what David, the song that David wrote after he was confronted um, by the prophet Nathan over his sin with, with killing Uriah and taking Bathsheba. And uh, he repented. He had remorse. He said, my God, my God, against you only have I sinned and done what's evil in your sight. He said, he said, 
and go go and read that psalm he says a broken and contrite heart oh god you will not despise uh it's only she keeps saying that he imputes his righteousness on us he doesn't impute his righteousness on the unrepentant heart <laughs> he didn't buy us a, a bus pass to sin a sin free for all um, and then she did, when I confronted her on this, she did a video, her spelling leaves something to be desired too. It was titled, Do We Need to Feed Bad for Our Sins? She meant feel bad. And she just absolutely went off on a tirade in this video. She complete, she doesn't even make sense. Um, telling people why they don't have to feel bad for their sins. Well, you better read Psalm 51. It's a broken and contrite heart, O oh God, that he will not despise. He does despise the prideful, arrogant, belligerent soul of Renee Rowland, saying that we don't have to be sorrowful over our sins in in the sermon on the mount uh, jesus says blessed are those who mourn for they shall be comforted of course he's talking about mourn over sin um uh against you you only i have sinned and done what is evil in your sight so that you are justified when you speak um created me a clean heart oh god uh Watch this. Stand. See, the sacrifices of God are a broken spirit, a broken and a contrite heart, O oh God, you will not despise. Yet she says we don't have to feel bad for our sins. Faith alone, she says. Um, well, she's going to find out differently when she stands before Jesus Christ. And she hears him say, depart from me, you who practice lawlessness. And you who led my servants to not repent before me.